Late Night. This review will be spoiler free. Late Night isn't the most box office movie out right now, but it is one of the most interesting. Late Night stars Emma Thompson and Mindy Kaling, who also wrote the story. Kelly Kapoor here is hired by Katherine Newberry, played by Thompson, to break up the monotony of her all-white male writing team. Her story continues from there and deals with many topics focusing on things like celebrity scandals, people of color in the workforce, and setting proper priorities. I really do appreciate the fact that this movie attempts to criticize st certain stereotypes in Hollywood. Late Night is funny. Many of the lines were written by someone who understands humor and capitalized on reactions well, similar to The Office. Even though the story is predictable, it's still an enjoyable ride through Molly Patel's story. Molly Patel is played by Minnie Kaling. Every actor in this film does well, something I haven't said about reviews in a long time. Many of them are big names and you've probably seen them in other films, but in this movie they do take a back seat. Both of the leads do an exceptional job. Dialogue and writing is also vitally important and delivers well. I would say over half of the jokes landed for me, which is pretty good when a movie is titled as a comedy. It's not Seth Rogen farting on a dog humor, it's a bit more mature, which I do appreciate. If you're an Office fan, it's almost your job to watch this, as another special Office member is in this movie besides Mindy Kaling. I would in fact recommend seeing this if if you're interested in any form of comedy or good writing or humor or anything like that. Fair warning, it does feel a bit dragged out, but not overly long in my opinion. This movie is in between spending money in theaters and just watching it on Netflix. If you have it on Netflix later, it's 100% go watch it, but as of right now, I don't know if I would continue to spend money on this movie in theaters. Late Night, as I said, is an enjoyable ride, and I would give it a 7 out of 10.